What's up, everyone? Welcome to yet another episode of Cartoon Fight Night. I'm your host, Corn O'Keefe, and if you're new to the series, make sure to check out the first episode. But if you know how the game is played, let's get ready for the fight. Tonight's battle was a collab between Butter Samurai and Ultimate Diamond. So if you enjoy what you see, check out their channels and subscribe. Speaking of tonight's battle, we have King Dice versus Golden Freddy. What do these characters have in common? Well, they're indie characters who throw their heads at people. Meh, we've done worse. Plus, Animation Rewind was the one who originally came up with the idea. We just went with it. To learn more about Golden Freddy, be sure to check out Chara vs. Five Nights at Freddy's on the Animation Rewind channel. However, King Dice is new to both Cartoon Fight Club and Cartoon Fight Night, so we will do a quick pre-analysis on him. With all this being said, let's get into it. In the Inkwell Isle, there is the Devil's Casino. This casino is run by, you guessed it, the Devil. And his right-hand man is the king of the casino, King Dice. Dice may not be much of a hand-to-hand -hand fighter himself, but he does have minions that can take care of the dirty work for him. These minions are all sentient versions of items that you find in your average casino, such as alcoholic beverages, chips, a cigar, a domino, a magician rabbit, a dead derby horse, a roulette wheel, an eight ball, and a cymbal banging monkey. Though, if his minions fall and he has to do the dirty work himself, King Dice is more than capable of holding his own. While he isn't exactly a master hand-to-hand -hand combatant, he does have some useful powers that could give him an edge in combat. Sending swarms of cards at his opponents and having a really damn good theme song. His abilities include teleportation, altering his size at will. At his largest, he should be able to destroy buildings via his sheer size alone. And he is capable of reacting to supersonic combatants such as Cuphead and Mugman. Though he isn't exactly perfect, like I said before, he isn't a master hand-to-hand -hand combatant by any means, and he prefers to let his minions do the fighting for him. Overall, King Dice is the devil's right-hand man and not somebody that you would want to mess with. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This fight will take place on Earth with no prep time. Now, let the battle begin. Surprise, motherfucker! No! My dick! So King Dice both takes the gold and takes down the gold. But before I explain why, I'd like to thank Butter Samurai and the Ultimate Diamond for making the animation, and the MLG Avocado for writing the script. Be sure to check out their channels, their links will be in the description. Also, if you enjoy my hosting, make sure to check out my channel, my link will also be in the description below. Now for why King Dice wins. <laughs> 
and poor Golden Freddy was just far too outmatched here in terms of numbers and firepower. King Dice holds a huge speed edge. Being able to keep up with both Cuphead and Mugman puts him easily above the speed of sound in terms of reaction speed. The FNAF verse has nothing coming even remotely close to this kind of speed. Yeah, Golden Freddy can teleport faster as he can do it instantly while King Dice still has to move, but teleportation does not equal speed and faster teleportation will only delay the inevitable. King Dice should be also far physically superior. Being building level via sheer size alone at his biggest would make him literally capable of stomping Golden Freddy. As Golden Freddy has never demonstrated anywhere near this level of power, Dice's minions would also guarantee that Golden Freddy would take quite a lot of damage before he even got to King Dice, who would still be in tip-top shape. I doubt Golden Freddy could get through all nine enemies without taking significant damage, and that's if he can even get through them all. And if you want to count the minions as outside help and say we shouldn't use them, that doesn't change the fact that King Dice is still way beyond Golden Freddy in terms of strength and speed and is more than capable of physically overpowering him. Yes, Golden Freddy has his mental manipulation, but I doubt that it would have too great of an effect on King Dice. The dude literally works alongside the devil. In a world where there are giant, sentient, murderous, vegetable, flowers, bees, and pirate ships, hallucinations from an animatronic robot will be nothing to the Cuphead universe. So with a complete physical advantage in his favor, King Dice's victory was pretty much guaranteed. Trust me. That's a bet I am more than willing to make, making the winner of this battle, King Dice. Now if you want to see a Five Nights at Freddy's vs Cuphead Total War, just like this video. If this video gets 4,000 likes, there will be a Total War. Don't forget to comment down your own ideas as they may become future episodes of Cartoon Fight Night. And stay tuned as I reveal the next fighters. So, episode 69 is next, huh? Wow, I wonder what matchup we've picked to do for this special episode. That isn't obviously going to be a meme fight. Well, on the next episode of Cartoon Fight Night. This can go two ways, punk. One, you walk away. Two, I walk on your face. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my